Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create this simple 3D model with the help of surface surfacing tool. I hope you like it. So today we are going to learn how to use this all surface commands and create this model. And uh, this draw sketch for this drawing we are going to import from SolidWorks. Now let's open file new and select here part. Okay. So background I'll keep same unit also millimeter. Now today we are going to learn how to use surface tool and create a model. So if you just select right click on the mod and choose here surface. Now for example let's open SOLIDWORKS resources here you will get tutorial. In basic techniques you will get we are going to practice this example in SOLIDWORKS finished nozzle. So here this is the model uh, sketch we are going to import. So if you come down loop dead surface here select click here. Once you select click here you will get this edge uh, this sketch. So with the help of this sketch we will learn how to use SOLIDWORKS surface. Let me select this one. Now see uh, we are going to use multiple commands here and create or complete this sketch with the help of 3d model so let's start first option we are going to see swift surface now here is sketch profile first it is asking profile so I'll choose this closed geometry now here it is asking path I'll choose this as a path but see it is going straight so here we have one option in SOLIDWORKS guided curves I'll choose this guided path or curved path and you will see this body took the shape let's say ok oh look that's it now the same thing we will apply to this part swift surface first we will select profile so this closed geometry is our profile then path again it is going straight if we come down guided curves if we select this one now see it's become a guided shape let's say ok now here we will see the next command looped surface it will ask you you need at least two pro profiles so here we have to select ok and in profiles first option is profile so I'll choose both the circles now see this dotted you need to adjust but in this case no need because this is a straight ok now we want to close all the geometry with the uh, we want to fill this open spaces with various command so first we need to divide this two surface in multiple uh, we want to split it how just uh, go to feature in curves you will find a split line select first projection and select the line or sketch you are going to use for a split I will choose this sketch and you have to select surface now this face we are going to split in two numbers let's see how oh look one two three how it is split with the help of the line a split again the same thing we are going to split this body oh look look this one is split now we will use looped surface and first select profile so I'll choose let me choose this edge only this edge that's why we make multiple uh, split the body now th at this end I'll choose this now you will see clearly a preview if I will make like this in here one end condition and constraint first tangency to face now you will see how it is become tangent second tangency to face and distance one millimeter is enough now see 
let's say okay and you will see a tangent surface created along with attached surface now again the same thing looped surface now here we have this surface and this surface but see we are not able to see the preview because these green colors are not in proper position this so is just anyone drag and leave and see now this is perfectly joined and you will see the preview but here also we need to apply and constraint tangency to face 1 mm tangency to face 1 mm this is perfect shape that's fine see now uh, okay one more lifted surface i'll select this edge and this edge oh here delete the previous body again choose okay now see the green point is point is po in perfect position so apply tangency to face and here we will apply 4 mm see it's going 4 mm upward side tangency to face in second direction and here we will apply 7 mm now you will see the preview once you said okay see we will create a perfect shape for this now it's time to close this body from this side and this side so here we have used one option just select this one open edge right click select open loops it is going to it is not going to select so simply what we will do okay let's apply knit surface we will close make close all the geometry okay now it's become one body now see all the open loops are selected you will see the pointed view select filled surface now see you will see it's going to filled oh that's it even though we can choose manually let's say manually filled now here i'll choose all the open geometry so one choose only edge huh? not uh, face now it is also going to close now see we created this one now let's here also too many edges if we choose planar surface you have to select one by one all your edges see it's close but if you right click on the edge select open loops once you select open loops it will automatically select all see you can see the preview planar surface see here all four edges selected okay and is close now let me use revolve surface and i'll choose this command this line see it's going to revolve and create a body here by default it will select the center line angle 360 degree blind let's say okay now here we have this bodies now let me select here trim 
now we want to trim so first we have to choose trim body so I'll choose this body and here remove selection and uh, I'll select this one again I'll choose surface trim surface now in trim tool I'll choose this body and remove selection I'll select this this blue part going to remove here we make sure you selected remove selection okay now let's how many bodies are here see there are too many bodies so simply select knit one now see this is all are going to create one body now you will see only one body that's it now at the bottom we are going to create a hole so we will use extruded surface and select this edge this profile keep and condition mid plane and 100 millimeter okay so now this surface also going to join now we will we need one more same body in 90 degrees so what we will do go to direct editing right click and choose here direct editing you will get one option copy move body here select the body you have to come rotate in rotate select axis for axis you will see here one option pull point one right click show and you will get this axis select this axis here select copy and here choose degree 90 degree now see is a body going to create okay now we need to make a hole or trimmed here so what we will do we will use again surface body first we will choose this and here select remove selection see this things going to select and this also going to select here we selected remove selection so this inside things going to remove see even there is one opposite option also trim surface select this time this one and here select keep selection I'll choose upper one and see inside will, will be trimmed because we keep upper one uh, look see let's hide now see with the help of trim surface we created this edges if you don't want to create this edge you just use untrimmed surface and uh, let me choose ok select one edge and see it's going to filled untrimmed ok and see it is filled if we select section view ok see this is purely a surface tool exit and choose thicken here one this two body we don't need and the whole one body so let's now let's try thickness thicken I'll choose this body now thickness I'll choose point eight. sometime thickness uh, you have to calculate and put because due to the sharpness of age or due to corner if you apply more num uh, more thickness more number of thickness it will not take it will show you error so 0.8 I feel is sufficient for this body okay that's it so this is the simple tutorial how we create a simple model in SOLIDWORKS with the help of surface tool and here we learn this 
so many surface commands and we create this 3d model if we choose section view front view okay and you will see this geometry let me hide this don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching